Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls. And I just wanted to give everyone a fill-in and status report on what is going on with my storage unit. It is also loud outside. My neighbor's children are out there. So if you hear the kids yelling, you know, thumbs up for that. I don't mind. I like the sounds of people around outside. And hey, I got kids. I don't mind other people's kids. I was always the kid person. My wife never really liked other people's babies or children. I'm a baby and children person. What can I say? I'm like, the, oh my god, look at that guy. Ah. What can you say? But this morning, I got all of my money that had been sent to me from various wonderful people. Now, unfortunately, I have a bunch of automatic withdrawals. And so like my car insurance came through, another payment came through. So when all came through and said and done, I was able to withdraw $280 from all the donations given to me. And I had $280. Thank you all so very, very much. This was after it brought me from like minus almost 400 to zero and then to positive 265. 265 285 whatever the number was that I just said so thank you all so very very much it is awesome that I've been able to do that now it was 400 and change to bring me current but I don't want to be current I just wanted to close this thing and get it done out finished so knowing that 280 wasn't enough but being at zero now I was a bad human being. Now, my bank honors all checks until I go to minus 500. I needed to get my storage unit emptied out. I wrote three checks for $20 over. Stop eating! 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 added $60 to my 285. I had a grand total of $325. Yes, that $60 that I got is going to cost me 150. So I'm going to be minus 150 at the very least as soon as this is all done. Because it's the cost of the check plus $28 for non-sufficient funds. But until you're minus 500, they'll honor it just with a $28 charge. So, I went there and I tossed down my $325 and I said, I just want it closed out. The person there called up the owner. They talked. My unit is now closed out, sort of. It's paid off. I have all day today until they close normal business hours because my pin is is dead i cannot just type in the number and get in there whenever i want i have to go into the office and say hey can you open up the door they'll open up the door and i can go as a quick aside while going through my storage unit i found in a container of stuff this ring that my wife had i don't know whose it was i have no ideas but I put it on. That's my ring finger. I mean, even my wedding ring finger, my normal ring finger, that's the finger I wear rings on. I put it on. It fits. So I'm wearing it for now. But anyway, $325. They wrote me out a thing. Done. I have all today to get it emptied out. I went there after paying. I got a bunch of stuff out not big stuff there's only a couple things that i really wanted one was the curio cabinet i took that out i gave it to my in-laws my daughter and their family their family my daughter th her in-laws are going to have it now so that's good the other thing that i really wanted is the stove i can't do that all by my little lonesome now i have all day tomorrow until six o'clock p.m to get it done technically I'm supposed to have it all emptied out by tomorrow at 6. Realistically, I'm going to have to leave the lion's portion of it for them to take care of and just 
sell, throw out, whatever, salvage, garbage. <sighs> they may charge me for it. They're not going to get paid for it. Unfortunately, they may come. Well, it depends on how much it costs because I don't like being this way. I like paying for the things that I do. So I feel bad about that. If I end up owing them and they'll let me pay it off then and it's not too much, I'll do it. If it's too crazy, then there's not much I can do. But it's finally done. It is finally done. I just have to empty out as much as I can. And I already emptied out a bunch this morning. That's why I'm so physically tired right now. I honestly don't know if I can get a reaction video done today. Probably not. I'm just, I was out working in the hot sun, doing physically things that I'm not really able to do anymore. And I am hurting and exhausted, tore up mentally, bashed physically. But I wanted to let you know what was going on with my storage unit and now my life. This is going to help tremendously. That is a $200 weight that has been tied around my neck and just pulling me off the side of this life raft I've been on. Finally, finally, it's gonna be gone. Now, one thing that I didn't wanna do just as a weird aside on that one is a couple months back or weeks back or whatever, Mary Adachi had sent me a whole bunch of things. One of the things that she sent was a whole bunch of these little hamsters in, uh, you can get them in vending machines, little toy hamsters. She bought a whole bunch of these and then to get me a full set and then just left the duplicates there. So I wanted to open them up and take a look at these things. They're taped shut, somewhat. I've opened up one or two of them but you have to peel the tape off, sort of. That's good enough for that one. Here, I'll just put the tape over there. But you pop them open and they have little sheets of information and books that talk about, you know, don't eat them, don't try to breathe them, don't stuff, don't do idiot things like that. But there are seven of them. And this is a cute and fuzzy little I guess that's a, like a four-leaf clover supposed to be on its nose. So that's one of them. And then we have another one here. Pull off some of the tape. It, I was debating whether or not to even open these because on the one hand, it's like, I don't want to ruin things. But on the other hand, it's like, if you don't use them, then what's the point? And they were given as a gift. So, oh, it's a little dwarf. It's a little dwarf. How cute. Oops. Oops, I'm losing things everywhere. Let's see, do I have, to? oh yeah, I gotta pull the tape off. How about this one? Oh, hokey smokes, come on. Arr. Let's see, oh, there we go. Look, well that's a cutie too. But this is just like this one, only this one has a little shamrock on its nose. couple more <laughs> oh here we go this one's already like peeled this one's a little black one and then we have oh in fact this one's partially open too oh this one's a little brown one with a little seed in its face how cool so cute and then we have almost done just one or two more shucks I gotta tape on D tape not tape this one hmm First off, you gotta be smarter than the packaging. That's my problem. There we go. And this one is just, oh! Just a little cute dwarf, a cutie. And then there is just, oopsie! I'm losing them all over the floor. They're rolling. They're making a run for it. They're plastic containers. Polymers to the rest. Escape to the, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Oh, come on, let go. Again, you have to be smarter than the packaging, and that's my issue. There we go, almost. And, ta-da, another brown one. Uh-oh, is this one? Oh, no, that one has a seed. So there's a brown one with seeds, and then there's two of them like this. And so one's got a little shamrock. And then there's a tan one and, and a non-tan, oops. Oh my gosh, it made a run for it all the way to the ground. 
Where'd it go? Huh? Little ease. Oh my God, it did make a run for it. So there's all of these. They're very, very cool. <laughs> a handful of little toy hamsters. I'm gonna have to put those on the shelf. This one, I'm not quite sure where or what it is. It was in the same bundle, but oh, it's a keychain, I guess. But it's taped in such a way that, let's see if I can tear the plastic container and not destroy everything about it. Oh, there we are. Ta-da! It's like a, like a hamster or a cat or a guinea pig or something on a mushroom. Yay! So there we go. We have an unboxing of weird Japanese toy hamsters. Thank you very, very much, Mariadachi. And we have a status report on what's going on with the unit and what I'm gonna have to do for today and tomorrow. So you take care. Have a great day today. Am I gonna have a reaction video today? I don't know, I'm gonna try. Am I gonna have a game video today? I don't know, I'm gonna try. I still got a bunch of stuff I gotta do. So we shall see. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, and that, my friend, is a very good thing.